Welcome back, everybody, to another segment of 120 Seconds. As always, I'm Stockwell. Uh, I am going to knock out kind of the remainder of the album reviews, and then I'm going to switch gears on 120 Seconds, but I'm not going to talk about that right now. For now, uh, let's talk The Gathering. Okay, I'm going to give my little overview. Uh, if you want to say, you know, what I'm looking forward to, whatever, whatever. I'm just calling it The Gathering Overview. So first and foremost, I will be hosting The Omen Stage uh, Wednesday and Thursday during the day, and then I'll be making a couple appearances as well on Wednesday night after the main stage is over. So we could start with the Omen stage, the highlights to me. Uh, Wednesday, for me, the top set is going to be Jordan Step. Didn't know anything about him. Don't know anything about him. And uh, checked out some of his stuff. Reminds me a little bit of Dilemma. He used to roll with Tech 9. Uh, I'll expound on that uh, when I'm hosting the stage. But my opinion, probably the most solid act on Wednesday during the day. But hopefully I'm surprised by somebody else. Wednesday night after the main stage, I think is solid front to back. I, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I don't know Bible Belt Massacre, but from SON to uh, uh, the guy from Coral Horror Cartoon Bondurant, I think it is a pretty solid night there Thursday night after the main stage. Thursday, I'm sorry, well, whatever, Thursday morning, whatever that is. Thursday daytime, um, there's a girl named uh, Poser who kind of... Sounds like uh, like the female version of the band Horror, like HO9909 Horror. It's it's cool, and I'm looking forward to that set. Um, there's going to be some metal that day with uh, Scream at the Sky. There's some new metal mixed with Mariachi. Uh, this band called Saint Diablo. Kind of looking forward to seeing what how that kind of pans out. There's some uh, trappy UK horrorcore from a guy, uh, Percy Bones. I think if you're a Ouija fan, you probably might dig that. Uh, some lyrical horrorcore from a, a band called OIC, Our Inner Circle. So it's a good mix. Uh, I'll be hosting that day on Thursday. That should be fun. So again, come hang out. Come see me on Wednesday or Thursday during the day or you know, uh, Wednesday night after the main stage, 1 a.m., whatever that is. Uh, I'll be there both to eight, both, all three times um, helping out, hosting the stage. As far as the days I'm not hosting at the Omen stage, uh, you know, King Gordy headlines uh, Thursday night after the main stage. Uh, I think that the Looney Tunes uh, on Friday are, are probably the top set for that day. But again, maybe I'll be surprised by somebody else. Uh, Kung Fu Vampire that night at 1 a.m. Uh, Saturday, I suggest you get there early, bright and early at noon uh, for Wild, Wild Card, who I consider probably the top act for that day, for, for me. Uh, so again, those are kind of my Omen stage highlights. Um, don't forget about the Pirate Ship stage, whatever, Ship of Fools. Okay, there are many solid acts over there. Now, again, if you ever watch my 120 seconds, I'm the first to rip in to people that I don't think are very good and, and be blunt and honest. And look, is every single act, and I'm talking about all three stages, is every th single act uh, solid and I love it? Absolutely not. Okay, but that doesn't mean that there's a bunch of shit either because there's plenty of solid acts on all three stages. So speaking of the pirate ship, you know, Dr. Giggles, NGS, Matt Foy, uh, Flapjack Wilson, who I didn't know anything about. I actually heard a verse on an OIC song when I was doing research on them. And I was kind of blown away by that verse. And then I heard another song called Panda, which I happen to really appreciate. So I'm going to check out Flapjack Wilson because of right now, that's all I know about him. Uh, the Clockwork E guys are over there. I know they're huge in the juggler world right now. Bars, I gave their album kind of a mid review, but it's because those four guys, V Sinister, uh, Clifton Durrell, Tier Diaz, and Zitro are legitimately elite MCs, and I expect more out of them, and I was trying to challenge them, and I still am, but 1,000% I will be at that set. So, um, you know, check out new shit, Juggalos. If you've never heard of it, give that the website, uh, the you know, Juggalo Gathering, you know, everybody almost has a, a video of some sort you could watch. And again, wouldn't it just be the end of the fucking world if somebody who you didn't know and never heard of, you clicked on a video and found out you really dig them? I just don't understand that mentality with the who shit and whatever other fucking smart ass comments people have. If somebody sucks and you think they suck, cool. But why not just fucking check them out and just be like, oh my God, this is actually legitimately really good. I want to go see that. I don't give a fuck what stage it's on. So that's how I am. And, and speaking of which, Bleed the Wicked Menace, we're going to shift gears to the main stage. Didn't know anything about that guy. Not at all. Had never heard of him. Had never heard his music started clicking around it's kind of ghost main suicide boise in the good way um and so i'm really looking forward to a set now as a matter of fact i'm trying to pin down an interview hopefully he sees this and it motivates him to do that i don't know but uh, i'm looking forward to him on the main stage uh you know look obviously isham icp mastermind uh, you know i'm a huge isham mark i've said that a thousand times mastermind rlp 
that whole thing. I see ICP, the red show. What does it mean? Who knows? Is it the pig's blood or whatever? Like uh, um, the bloody Sunday show? Maybe. I don't know. But right. It'll be cool. I'm sure it'll be cool. And of course, I'm looking forward to that. But talking about shit that isn't that, that we all already know. So um, for me, as far as the main stage goes, the absolute highlight is Gangsta Nip. I'm an old school Gangsta Nip fan way before ICP Juggalos. I knew what any of that shit was back 92, 93. I was 12 or 13. My brother brought home the South Park Psycho CD and that shit blew me away. I was legitimately kind of scared of it. Uh, he is not a lyricist. And if somebody today were to do what he does, I would just say that's some generic ass horrorcore. But we're talking somebody doing this shit in the early 90s. You know, he wrote uh, the Chucky song for Bushwick Billy, wrote some Ghetto Boy shit. Fucking legend. I'm really, really looking forward to the Gangsta Nip set because I just never thought in my life that I would ever see him live. And so uh, that makes me geek out. Um, speaking of legends, obviously Rakim, fucking legend. You, I, for me, once you hear that voice, you know it's Rakim immediately. Looking forward to his set, just, you know, hip hop royalty, hip hop originator, whatever you want to call it. I hope he plays Know the Ledge from the Juice soundtrack because that is my favorite Eric B. and Rakim track. Speaking of legends, Insane Poetry as one half of Make My Motherfucking Day with Scum. Um, Insane Poetry is a motherfucking legend. Not to say Scum isn't, by the way, but, uh, you know, Insane Poetry's got some years on him. So, again, Insane Poetry, a name I knew in the 90s. So, for him to, you know, legitimately be a good friend to me, which I do consider that, and for him to be playing main stage, uh, hopefully it doesn't uh, thunderstorm so they get fucked out of their main stage slot again. Uh, looking forward to seeing those guys on the main stage. Don't Sleep on Grim. It's uh, their open Saturday night, the last night. They are semi-local to me. Uh, they're a metal band, but it's crazy interesting metal. It's, it's, not, it's not ordinary, and it's definitely dark and wicked and horror. So check that out. Uh, speaking of metal, Vended. Again, I'm not really a metal head. I checked out Vended just to see who they were, and I thought, man, this sounds like old Slipknot, who I do like. I like Slipknot, and I didn't even know that it's for real the kids. It's <laughs> the guys from Slipknot. So that's funny. I look like a jackass there, and I'm willing to admit that. But Vended, I'm looking forward to that set. Switzerland Insane always has a, a like a really theatrical, awesome stage show. Looking forward to that because he's fucking awesome. And then lastly, the uh, the Fun Time guys. So um, two years ago when they played the main stage, that is why I started checking out the Fun Time guys. I've known who they were for a long time, but that performance they did at the gathering kind of made me realize, okay, these guys are legit. These guys are trying hard. Um, because I kind of thought the opposite before that set. Um, so, yep, super famous fun time, guys. Glad to see them back on the main stage. So that is my kind of gathering overview, what I'll be doing, what I plan to be doing, where I'll be. Bagel Lovers Camp, uh, it'll be the RV this year. The Ball of Sites is over by the Omen stage. So the fact that I'm hosting the Omen stage, the fact that I'm camping over there, the majority of my time I'll be in that area. But I'll be going over to the pirate ship, checking out acts. I'll be obviously going to the main stage, checking out acts. Other than that, I'll just be perusing around. I've got, at this point, 20-something interviews uh, scheduled with artists. So uh, I'm really looking forward to doing all that. If you see me around the grounds, please come say what's up. Come say what's up. It's all love for me. Uh, even if I gave her album a rip, let's, let's chat. Uh, you can tell me I'm wrong or if I ripped an album that you love. Tell me I'm wrong or, or tell me about something I don't know. Like, again, how many more uh, Bleed the Wicked Menace and, uh, you know, uh, Corleone's and all that. I don't have them written down here, but that's when I was checking out, I don't know, the other day. It's not even Corleone. What's Corleone? See, I don't even fucking know. Never heard of the guy. Don't know anything about him. Heard the fucking song you submitted. It's awesome. It's awesome. Not, now I want to check that guy out. So, again, that's why I'm doing this video, hopefully for you to check it out. Number one. Number two, come see me host the Omen stage. As always, I have free giveaways. And uh, if you think I'm bullshitting, you can ask people. I give away jerseys, t-shirts, CDs, all kinds of shit. Uh, I, we do trivia. We do games. I just try to make the Omen stage. It was a nightmare stage first year I did it. It was, uh, I don't even remember, that like Martian stage. And this year, it's the Omen stage. Uh, I try to make it an event. So come over. Be part of my event. Be part of our event. Uh, let's do some Juggalo shit. Hey, let's talk music. Let's have fun. Uh, again, all love, safe travels to everybody. I'm really, really looking forward to next week. See you all there. Till next time. Thanks, everybody. They go love us for life. Yeah, I don't go there. Right. I don't fuck with them anymore. I used to like them, but uh, I don't fuck with them. I